In this activity, you will see how to make sterile skin swabs. To begin, ensure that your work area is clear and your materials are set up so that they are within reach and ready to use. Label the underside of your Petri dish around the outer edge of the plate. Include your name, practical section and area of the skin where you will swab. Make these labels clear but small so that they will not obstruct your view of the results later on. Now, retrieve a sterile swab. Be careful to handle only the stick part of the swab to avoid contamination. Rub the swab thoroughly over the area of skin, rotating the swab to maximize contact with the skin. Here, the area of skin being sampled is generally drier because there are less hair follicles and sebaceous glands. The density of bacteria may be lower compared to more moist areas of the skin. Therefore, it's important to rub thoroughly and with a little more force with this sample. Open the dish and gently rub the swab across the entire surface of the agar. Rotate the plate and continue swabbing to cover the entire surface of the plate. Now repeat the procedure for the second skin swab. Here we are sampling bacteria from the skin at the front of the hand. The procedure is the same as before. Retrieve a sterile swab, sample the skin, and then swab the plate. After you are finished with the procedure, secure the lid with two small pieces of tape. Your plates will be incubated overnight at 35 degrees Celsius and then kept at room temperature until your next lab.